Peace. What's up, my people? How y'all vibing? I wanted to talk about how the subconscious is ruining people's lives and what we can do to fix it, to help us better our lives. So, the subconscious is objectively proven to run 95% of our daily lives, while the conscious is objectively proven to run 5% of the lives. Now, we know we got both conscious and subconscious. And based off the programming, is what's gonna determine us to have a high vibrational reality or a low vibrational reality. And certain stuff that programmed us from anything that we was taught from when we was born up until now, and even what we instore ourselves into our future. So we got certain stuff like the generational curse that we're unaware of subconsciously. But when you could become consciously aware of it, you have the ability to stop right there, converse with it, and reprogram it. Certain stuff that you doing unknowingly that is a generational curse that's been passed down from generation to generation don't necessarily mean that it was a hex or jinx or your, your curse curse, but it's a generational curse far as you might just yell at your kids for no reason because you just don't got no patience. But that's been passed down because nobody never taught nobody how to have emotional intelligence and to express themselves the right way. Like you right to feel what you're feeling, but express yourself better. You don't need to throw a temper tantrum, you're grown type stuff. Or anything that you can do just in a family that's being done, you know, alcoholics in the families, uh, drug addicts, uh, anything that's ongoing in that. And then you would be aware of it, like, hold on, I'm catching on to this pattern. This was like, just because of this, and I gotta stop it. You gotta really, you know, do something about it. So now, you reprogram it. You build new patterns. You build new characteristic traits towards it, for one. So you might have something like food that's attacking it, all these chemicals and stuff in it. You got stuff with artificial flavors, yellow, yellow five, uh, GMOs, all these things that's attacking certain stuff, making you think a certain way. That's programming your subconscious. Because what you think, why you consciously thinking of it, your subconscious is thinking of that after you left that alone. Like you talking right now, but when you move away from that, your subconscious doing this thing about all the information that you just give it. So everything that you do, you basically feeding your subconscious. So right now I'm consciously talking, but when I'm done, my subconscious is gonna pick up and go off of this, or when I go to bed, it's gonna go on its own and dream, and we're in a dream state, and I might be aware of my dreams, like, oh, what's this? And I'm conscious, but at the same time, it's my subconscious doing all of this, you know? So, um, you might watch a scary movie. As soon as the scary part come on, the song come on. You know, you watch Jason and, or Michael Myers, and that song come on, and you, oh, oh, you grown, and you still, oh, it's a frequency in that music that's playing on you, you know? and affecting you type stuff, carrying it on to your subconscious. You might have a nightmare or something later or whatever the case may be, but it's off of that. That's being a story in your subconscious, a story constant. It's, it's like storing off this, you know? And um, it's actually like two good movies that explain this, or you can get an idea of, if you haven't watched it, you can check it out, uh, Limitless and Lucy. They both was able to tap into their subconscious, you know? And the subconscious, when you tap into it all the way, you reach the highest point of the cerebral capacity type stuff. So in that movie, it was him being able to defend himself in Limitless. It was a scene that he was being able to defend himself. People came upon him was trying to jump him. He just went in the back of his head. He remembered this kung fu movie. Next thing you know, he downloaded it and uh, he did his thing, you know, uh, vice versa. Man, Lucy, she did something similar and stuff like that. 
but it was off of the programming of the subconscious that was being able to remember, being able to tap into it consciously to your subconscious. So now we do the opposite and reverse it, you know? We, re we reprogram it by programming it high vibrational things, you know? So, for instance, we got this binary obese plan, you know? It's a 963 hertz, and it's high vibrational beats. So it's going to do the opposite of whatever a low vibrational beat that do. If it's promoting, you know, gang banging, selling drugs, killing or whatever the case may be, and when you go out and you in that mode, next thing you know, when you want to promote what they doing, or you feeling hype, and it's, it's messing with you, it's going into you, subconsciousness, it's bringing you down, keeping you in a low vibrational state of mind type stuff, you know? This, on the other hand, it's more peaceful, it's more common, allowing you to tap into your God or Goddess energy, which is connected to your subconscious, which is where creation comes from, and stuff like that, you know? To create a better reality type stuff, you know? So it's promoting the exact opposite. So you might tell yourself affirmations, you know? I am confident. I am courageous. I am a God. I am abundance. I am stability. All these things is reprogramming it, you know? Why is my life so happy and harmonious? Something great and amazing is going to happen to me. So now when you're telling yourself these things, your subconscious, when you're done talking, is on its own. Okay, well, this is the assignment. Let me figure out why this life's so happy and harmonious. Uh, this is why. Uh, this is the reason why. Uh, this is why something amazing is going to happen. It begins to look for all of these things. So we feeding it the exact opposite. So you're saying all these good things about yourself, you know? And your subconscious is looking at this. You might tell yourself, I love myself. I'm in love with myself. I vibrate on a love frequency, you know? And the sub is on that, you know? The opposite. You might be unhealed. You might be hurt a little bit. So you might get to judging people. You might get to criticizing people, you know? And it's because you're not being accountable to heal yourself. So you're projecting everything on to your outer world to the point when somebody healed, they can look and be like, damn. That's how you feel about yourself, and you just projecting that to there to try to make yourself feel better. You don't even know that you're feeling like this. Okay, cool. So when you're talking about somebody, and you're trying to make a joke or whatever, your subconscious don't know nobody but you. While you consciously trying to laugh at somebody, your subconscious thinking you laughing at yourself. So it's subconsciously bringing yourself down into a lower state of mind, a lower vibration. And then you just do the opposite of like how we just said, you know. So this is how you begin to create your reality through your thoughts, actions, and your beliefs. If it's on some low vibrational stuff, you're going to have a low vibrational reality. If it's on some high vibrational things, you're going to have a high vibrational reality, you know. And it's going to be your perception how you see stuff, how you are within, that you create in your outer world, if that makes sense. So, we got the conscious and the subconscious, now we aware of these things, now you consciously tell yourself all of these high vibrational things, next thing you know, your subconscious is with your conscious, like all straight, oh, that's what's going on. All right, well, let me get busy then. I'm going to look for this stuff, you know? Next thing you know, all right, the conscious like, all right, we'll get back with you. You know? And uh, the subconscious break off, do its own thing, do its creation, and this imminent, this vibration of what you just told it. So now you just trust in your process because all these things is happening. Or how you just told yourself, you know? So now you're conversing through your awareness, you reprogram your thought process, and every thought has an emotion, regardless if it's happy or sad, low vibration or high vibration. That becomes the dominant thought. That becomes what you focus on. What you're dwelling on 
becomes your dominant thought, your subconscious pick up and make the best out of that. So we're just reprogramming it. It's a trick. You're tricking yourself. But in reality, it's not tricking yourself because it's what you really want. And you're just letting yourself know like, hey, I want all this high vibrational things to happen. I'm tired of everything that I've been going through. I'm tired of the program. I'm not that program. The generational curse. They did the best they could with the information they had at the time. They didn't know no better. Nobody stopped it out and told them, hey, you can't be doing stuff like this. This is happening because of this and this and that. And now you get to do it. You get to recreate everything. And you fixing the generational curse. Because now you teaching this on to the descendants. And they seeing it. You know? So... Yeah, I just wanted to talk about how the subconscious can ruin us or it can make us by us being consciousnessly aware and our conscious helping our subconscious working together to manifest a beautiful life, a beautiful feeling, a higher vibration, higher, you know, thoughts, actions, situations, events, the people that we come across. It's all based on your subconscious and what you feed it so yeah i hope y'all found that helpful hope that can help someone and you know try reprogramming the thought process and trust the process peace vibe high my babies <laughs>